That is dramatic new body camera video of the mass shooting at a UTC pool party. Peter Sellis opened fire at the Crossroads Apartments back in April. 10 News reporter Jennifer Dela Cruz is live with the big role this now plays in the investigation. Hey, Jen. Well, Brian, some of that video is very hard to watch, but it helps the DA get some insight into whether or not those officers were justified in their actions. It also gives us a firsthand look at what it was like for those officers rushing into an active shooter situation. We must warn you, the video you're about to see contains graphic images. This is aerial footage of a police chopper over the La Jolla Crossroads apartments on April 30th. You see the shooter, 49-year-old Peter Sellis, in a lounge chair by the pool with a gun in his hand. Police say he shot seven people there for a birthday party. The pilot giving commands on the shooter's location to three officers responding on foot. Okay, he's going to be up over that wall on the far side of the pool from you. You see Sellis on a cell phone with a gun in the other hand, giving the DA an idea of what was behind his terrifying actions. We do know that he was on the phone and that he had a breakup or a dispute with his girlfriend. Um, and he even indicated that he's going to go out in a, play, a, a blaze of glory and that he'd already killed two people. Down below, body cam video capturing the horrifying moments. Officers rushed into the scene with a trail of blood on the sidewalk. Hey! <laughs> You hear them ordering Sellis to drop his weapon. Drop the gun! Police fatally shot Sellis when he pointed his gun at them. One of his victims, Monique Clark, was killed. She leaves behind three daughters. She was loved by many. Her last words were to another victim who was near her that she wanted her daughters to know how much she loved them. Now, the district attorney says based on that video evidence, the officers did exactly what they were supposed to be doing in that situation. None of them will be facing any punishment. Reporting live downtown, Jennifer Dela Cruz, 10 News. Chilling video. Thank you, Jennifer.